Pamela, could you tell me your job title and what it implies? I'm the Learning Services Librarian for Inverclyde Libraries and my job entails looking after the learning offer uh, throughout Inverclyde and that means the delivery of classes throughout all of our branch libraries and our classes range from basic computer classes, uh, so introduction to IT, all the way up to things like desktop publishing and digital photography. So the target group for this for these classes will be a lot of the a lot of the digital classes that we run, a lot of the technology classes we run are aimed at older learners, people who are maybe using these kind of technology for the first time. Quite often when people come to us, they'll start with an introduction to computing class and then they'll progress through all the different levels. So for example, we've had people who work their way from introduction to IT to intermediate one and two computing and then they might progress on to desktop publishing or digital photography. Uh, we also have a lot of people interested in mobile technologies now and by mobile technologies I mean things like mobile phones and tablet devices. So we've also got iPad classes that run in several of our libraries. So you're really into the 21st century? Oh yes, absolutely. I think we have to be. And this uh, project we're working on, which is My Inverclyde, and we are part of the My Guru project, mm -hmm. this is part of this new technology. It is, and it's just as you were saying, it's, it's new skills, uh, people picking up new skills and things like in, in videoing interviews and editing them and uploading software onto a website, which this will eventually be This done. uploading the, the uh, material onto a website is something that is quite uh, difficult for me. I think it's, it's a brand new thing for a lot of people and just like with any new skill it can be, it can be quite overwhelming at first but with a bit of, a bit of um, patience and hopefully tutor, tutor support as well I think you can and see what you can achieve by the end of the... The, the, the language is, is new though, the, mm -hmm. the words are unfamiliar, mm -hmm. so this makes it, a, the, you've got a hurdle to climb over. That's true. It's, I, I always think it's the same, it doesn't matter what you're learning, if it's brand new to you, there is always that, you feel like there's a lot of hurdles to get through, but um, again, as with anything, the more, the more that you do it, hopefully the easier you'll, you'll find it and you'll start to pick it up. Well, we hope um, this Maipu Guruk project uh, that we're working on will be very successful because um, it, it's been funded by... That's right, it's been funded by the Scottish Library and Information Council. Um, we get money from the Scottish Government to invest in projects that public libraries um, run throughout Scotland. Uh, and we've been able to use this money to set up five groups uh, across Inverclyde. My Guruk's one of them, we've got four other groups and each of the groups is a different area of Inverclyde and we're hoping that there'll be five different resources at the end of projects to do with covering local history in, in a particular area of Inverclyde. Do you believe that what's happening today will be tomorrow's history and it would be alright to include that in the project? I think that's one of the unique aspects that we can capture that for people who are finding out about our area in 20, 30, 40 years time. It's a unique way of capturing Guruk, for example, as it is now. I think that's an invaluable resource and one of the things that makes the project stand out from other projects or other similar websites just now. Thank you very much. The adult and the older people you've catered for, but looking at it, you seem to give space in the library to, to very young children. We do. Uh, learning opportunities start from zero upwards in the libraries. There's no age limits. So one of the things that we do run, um, we run book bug sessions, and this is a national initiative, there's lots of libraries across Scotland doing the same, and it's a session for children, well for preschool children to come with their families, parents, guardians, um, a half an hour session where they sing songs and tell stories, and it's really a way to introduce young, very young people to the library and hopefully give them a positive association with it so that they, they come back later on in life. Right. Well, this means when you come into the library, gone are the days when silence reigned. Absolutely. It's, it is different. There's, I think there's still a place for libraries, for, for silent study areas and, and for quiet reflection time. But I also, also think one of our important roles is to, is to involve the community. It's to be a social space, a community space. And that's one of the ways we can 
we can do that and that does entail a wee bit, a wee bit of noise from time to time. So this is why we're having to sit in this room mm -hmm. rather than being in the library pro proper? Absolutely, because it can, it can be a lot of bustle sometimes. Yeah, we noticed last week at, uh, when we were doing the mm -hmm. project, a teacher had come down with her class a whole Absolutely. class of school children, mm -hmm. but they were very well behaved mm -hmm. uh, and they not only looked at books and um, they did help themselves to the computers and had a look at, uh, and they were far more efficient at it with the computers than I'll ever be. Well as part of the school visits, tra traditionally schools used to come and visit and maybe just look at the books that we had, but we've also got a lot of resources online now. We've got a, a section of our website, an e-library. A lot of our reference material is available online free of charge and you can actually access it from home now, you don't have to come into the library. So how would you access this from home? You would need a library card and you would need to know your library card number which is printed on the ticket and your PIN number which you can ask any member of library staff for and that acts as your login details to access these resources. What about people looking to see this project out with Inverclyde, mm -hmm. how are they going to manage? Well, all of the websites that are being worked on are going to be put up on the internet. So if you have access to the internet anywhere in the world, you'll be able to access this resource. Right. So your friends and relatives abroad will be able to see you taking part in this Absolutely. interview. Absolutely. Which we must, we have the Guruk uh, project, must thank you very much for giving us your time. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you.